This is Dr. Stanley. Oh, Stanley. Yes, ma'am. Mama just said he's the one thing. Foster House. And Foster House. This is the gentleman. This is the gentleman. I don't know. Stanley, were you working with the housing authority? I was working with H.R. Crawford and uh, I was the advisor for the board. All right. Tell, tell the story. We honor wow. the Lord for our presence. Amen. Amen. My good friend, Dr. Quinn, and to everyone who have assembled in this gathering this evening. Mm -hmm. Come to, first of all, I'll tell you, God works in a mysterious way. Amen. Yes. One does to perform. That's right. And he plants his foot on all stones. All right. The Lord has been good not only to me, but he's been good to Dr. Quinn. Yes. i never forget Dr. Quinn called me and she needed a place. And I told her, I said, well, give me a couple days. Just give me two days. And I guarantee you, we're going to find a place for you. H.R. Mm -hmm. uh, Crawford, who was the ward representative of Ward 7, the ward that I lived in. And him and I were friends, and we were out on a boat out on the Potomac. A friend of ours, we have a big yacht. And we were sitting there, and also the mayor, Mayor and Barry, was out on that boat. All right. And I said, you the know, mayor. the mayor, he was mayor for life. And I said, I, yeah, the mayor. He said, um, he said, Butler, he said, Butler, I said, I need a favor. He said, what is the favor? I said, I got a good friend. She needs a place. Not tomorrow, not next week, but right away. He got on his phone on that boat and called, mm -hmm. said, you go down there. And you tell her where to go, she got the place. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. I've never known anybody to be able to move that fast because the city always puts you on a waiting list. That's right. That's right. But Dr. Quinn has blessed me when I was. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm just 63 years old, but when I was running around as a, like a little boy, she, she would keep me straight. And we would go from church to church and sing. And so, cast your bread upon the water. Yes. And do time. Mm -hmm. Your ship will come in. Yes, it will. Dr. Quinn, what is life but a piece of paper white on which we write a line or two? And after a while, being honest, then comes night. But you do what you can do. While you're yet on this side of the joy, you've been a blessing. So that's why God has blessed you. You have helped folks. You have shared. Yes. And I, I, I look at your baby. I, I tell she says she's 50, 52. I remember when she was a little girl. Her, and her and you would be running around everywhere in the churches, helping gospel promoters, telling folk about the word of God. So I'm honored to be here this evening because the Lord has blessed me. I stayed in a coma a long time. They said that I wasn't going to live. Wilford Miller came there every other day to Washington Hospital Center. But the day that they said they're going to put me in the hospital, I set up in the bed and start singing. I'm a living witness. And I've been moving for the last three years ever since. But God bless you. Heaven smile upon you. And hope and pray. God will give you many more. Amen. Amen. All things folk tell you not to do, don't give up on God. Amen. He'll make a way out of nowhere. God bless you. Have a smile for you. All right. Thank you. Amen. Thank you, Shannon. We're going to have Mike, we're going to have Anthony come up and sing. Come on, Anthony. Because everybody's leaving. We got to eat this cake. This cake. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I got the finger. I got the finger. Oh, she ain't have a birthday. I come up, fellow. I come up, fellow. I come up, fellow. Can you see that? 
Everybody, y'all gonna join in when I stop? Because I'm not Melvin Monroe. <laughs> yeah, I'm Melvin Monroe. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Happy, Happy birthday to you. Okay. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Dad Quinn. Happy birthday.
Those who have gifts, get the mic. Okay? That's the price of the mic is a gift. One in prayer. I present you a happy, 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 blessed, Listen, I need everybody, I need everybody in the house. Everybody in the house, I need to, to, listen, everyone, would you, I need everyone in the house to understand that this is Dr. Quinn's 90th birthday celebration. And Sharon and so many others have worked hard to put this wonderful, grand, phenomenal occasion together. This is the brain child right here. This is the brain child, okay? <laughs> I want you to understand that President Barack Obama was going to come here. He was going to come and see you personally, but he couldn't get away. So instead, he says, from the White House, Dr. Mary Louise Quinn. Dear Dr. Quinn, please accept our best wishes for a happy 90th birthday. You have been a part of our great American story, lending your voice to the vibrancy of our nation and offering your experience and wisdom to those around you. As you mark this occasion, we hope you get the chance to celebrate with friends and loved ones and reflect on all you have achieved. You are, excuse me, you have warmed our hearts. Warm wishes for a wonderful birthday and great years ahead. Sincerely. Barack Obama and Michelle. Awesome. Awesome. Happy birthday, Ma. Now, Bessie. No, drop the mic. Yeah, drop the mic. Bessie. I just did it. Oh. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Okay, we're going to cut the case and we can eat cake. Okay. Mom, you want to say something before everybody leave your yes. birthday? Yes, I think that's very fitting. Very, you want to say something? Praise the Lord. I see so many friends. And I thank the 